Some of my viewers had been requesting for a video on how to configure a PIR sensor in Tasmota and use it with Home Assistant. So on their request, in today's video, we will discuss about PIR sensors, how to configure them in Tasmota and how to integrate and use them in Home Assistant. So let's get started. Passive infrared sensors, commonly known as PIR sensors, are electronic sensors that measure infrared light radiating from objects in their field of view and are basically used in motion sensing applications. They are available in many shapes and models, but all of them work on the same principle to sense the movement in front of them. All these modules are having three pins to connect them to other devices and they are VCC, ground and the signal out pin. Connect the sensor as shown here. The VCC pin connects to 3.3 volt and the ground pin connects to the ground of the circuit. The signal out pin connects to any free GPIO pin on the microcontroller. These sensors can also be used directly without a microcontroller. On detecting motion, the signal out pin goes high for a preset time and then go low again when no motion is detected. So basically PIR sensors output can only have two states, either high or low. Alternatively, we can say that PIR sensors act as a switch that can have only two states, high or low. So because it works similar to a switch, it is configured as a switch in Tasmota also. Let's now configure a relay and a PIR sensor in Tasmota. On my Wemos D1 Mini, I have connected PIR sensor to pin D5, so configure this pin as a switch. And my low level trigger relay module is connected to pin D6, so configure this pin as a relay. Now save the configuration. And on the dashboard, now we have a toggle switch and the current state of the relay. And here, when you move your hand in front of the sensor, it will turn on the relay for a short time and then turn it off again. This is because in Tasmota, by default, all switches are attached to their corresponding relays. Hence, switch 1, which is our PIR sensor, is controlling relay 1. And similarly, switch 2 will control relay 2 and so on. But if you don't want your PIR sensor to control the relay directly and instead want to define its trigger action from Home Assistant, simply open console and type command set option or SO in short 114 space 1 and press enter. This command will detach all switches from relays. To define switch 1 which is our PIR sensor as a binary sensor, Type command switch mode 1 space 15. Now to send a MQTT message to home assistant, we first need to give unique name to this device and its individual entities. Now configure your home assistant MQTT connection details here. And that's it. Your Tasmota part is done. Let's now integrate it in Home Assistant. Go to Settings, Devices and Services, Tasmota, and here you will find your PIR sensor. Click it and you will find Relay 1 in Control section and the Switch 1 in Sensor section. Click Switch 1, Settings, and here give it a name. Let's call it Office Motion. Click the third row labeled Show As and select Motion in the drop down list and click Update. And now your switch 1 has automatically been transformed 
into office motion sensor with state clear or detected. Move your hand to test it. Great, isn't it? Click add to dashboard and it will be shown on the dashboard automatically. And now you can use this sensor to trigger any automation in Home Assistant. Please note that I have added a relay with this sensor just for demonstration purpose. If you don't require the relay, you can simply configure your PIR sensor as a switch in Tesmota and it will still work absolutely fine. Hope I am able to explain it in an easy way. If yes, please let me know by hitting the like button below. Consider supporting this channel by subscribing it if you haven't already. So that's all for today. We'll meet in the next video soon. Till then, goodbye friends.